And here we are at the Teach a Friend to Brew Day here at the Raw Brewery. What are you doing here, Mr. Sanford? I'm setting my timer for my clarification step. How long is that going to be for? It's going to be 30 minutes, as you can see there. Okay. It's clarify for 30 minutes. Is that the same uh, timer that we actually dropped into the ward at one time? We actually dropped this into the ward, rinsed it off with water, and it's still working. I won't say, sure I won't say who dropped it in the ward, but... <laughs> that would be me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did buy another one off eBay for uh, $4, so we have a backup timer. His, Dave's timer broke today. So. Oh, no. Okay. This you know, I believe that's mine, sir. You know, I'm all about buying the cheap stuff. Anything over $5, I'm not buying. Well, that's, that's the exact thing I bought. What are you brewing, Dave? I am brewing a Southern English Brown Mild. Yeah? Dave always likes to put names on it, but it's too long for else. There's the mash. Look at that. This will be, actually we're going to do, uh, switch out the hops to American hops and it's going to be the Jackass Brewing uh, Brewer Brown Signature Beer. Signature Beer. All good brewery needs to have a signature beer here. I Over here we have... I'm celebrating my 10 years of brewing this year. 10 years of brewing. This is the... Happen here Monster Brew System. The Monster Brew System. Tell me a little bit about it, Dave. Actually, you need to get Dennis over here. Hey, Dennis! Come here, he wants to interview you about the Monster Brew System. Oh, yeah. Name, rank, and serial number, please. Okay. Well, Dennis Evans. I'm currently president of the uh, Captain Heritage Brew Club. And the system that you see over here behind me, we put together this year. It took us about nine months off and on. Uh, weekends, uh, evenings, when we can get people together. We have, uh, we started with Rubbermaid Mash Time. It looks like a hot tub over here right now. That's the heart of the system. And that has insulation, certain uh, surrounding the mash tun, and then we did wood flat on the system to kind of make it look a little better. Looks and, great. Uh, what are we brewing in there right now? Uh, well, we've got 88 and a half pounds of, of a uh, grain bill in here. We're making a, a uh, pale ale and we have uh, constant recirculation going it, the uh, the work goes out through bazooka tubes in the bottom goes through a uh, stainless steel uh, stainless steel pump comes back up to 50 foot copper coil in the hot liquor tank and I think I had my leg in one of those at one time yeah, you probably did. <laughs> I got that off eBay. It's uh, I believe 30 gallons, and that, it was used in, uh, in uh, therapy for injuries. <laughs> anyway, and that recirculates back into the mash tun and grease can starts up. But uh, our boil kettle over here, we also found on eBay, is a 55 gallon uh, stainless steel barrel used in the food industry. Uh, this is our second brew using this system here. And how many gallons can you get through this thing? Uh, we can probably, we can count on 45 gallons for the boil in a, in a 55 gallon boil kettle wow. without boiling over. And that's about right. We're considering getting a second barrel and doubling what we can output for the club. Because, I mean, with the amount of grain that we have in here, like I said, 88 and a half pounds, we can easily double that or maybe triple it. Wow, get a lot of products through there. I, I hope so. We're thinking of barley wine at some point. Barley wine, yeah, you get go. the whole neighborhood drunk with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Right. And uh, like I said, this is brew number two. So uh, we're expected to have, have a lot more brews in the future with this stuff. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's going on, fellas? Tape this for posterity's reasons. Would you like to see Barefoot Brewer? A guy can't even afford shoes, but he's out here brewing beer. It's a man after my own heart. That's it. I'm not sure what they actually
Hopefully we can raise enough money to get those shoes back. <laughs> right, right. We're going to sell the products, get some beer. What are you making over here, sir? Smoky Porter. Love the Porter. We smoked the grains uh, two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, you smoke them yourself? Yeah, maybe back rooms. Yeah? What's your name, sir? I'm Brad. Hi, Brad. The barefoot guy's on. brewing with me. That's Jamie. Jamie, he's your brew partner? Yep. He's got to be better than me, that's for sure. I buy all the stuff that costs under $5 for our partnership. <laughs> did you make this system yourself? No, one of our other club members did. I heard it. About, uh, two or three Looks good. We'll check on you in a little while, see how she's going. Alrighty. Boys hard at work. I believe this is Mark Wedge's system. This is a true microbrewery. Yeah, he's he's making it what a gallon at a time now. It's a two gallon. His is one gallon over here. One gallon. Where's our one gallon brew? That is it. That is truly mobile. We have the micro and then we have the mini micro. The Pretty soon we're going to be brewing three 12 ounce bottles no, at a time. That's right. Just for competition. Here, say a few words. This is our this is our upcoming president. <laughs> Greetings. Yes, drink more beer. Drink more beer. Brew more beer mainly. There you go. We're going to record this and probably put it out on the uh, web. So, and who are you, sir? And how did you get involved in this? Uh, I'm just one of one of the other guys. Just a hang around guy? Not many guys. Uh, we'll see it. One of our long time members, man. <laughs> yeah? It's like me, I kept showing up, so they put me to work. <laughs> really? There you go. I'm telling you. From what I've been told, this is a virgin system. A virgin system? Yeah. Well, they tell me a little bit about it. Oh, this is Cleopatra right here. This is the pyramid. Uh, I hope it's not the tomb, you know? Yeah. This is uh, Stan King from uh, Academy. It's one of those uh, fish fryer stands. Uh, it had some uh, angle iron that we welded in. It used one of the Academy uh, fish fryers. Uh, made it uh, stand up. Hot liquor tank is on top. It has the, uh, what do we call that oil in there? Uh, the heat exchanger is on the inside of the hot liquor tank. Uh, hot water comes into the mash tun. It circulates down and through the marsh pump. It comes back up the heat exchanger back and forth. It circulates. When it is, uh, when we hit the mash and we're done, transfer this TV here to the kettle and uh, we'll fill our kettle and uh, we also have a uh, storage arm right here sets in our storage. That's a nice piece of architecture there. Yeah. <laughs> Make that yourself? Yeah. Made it. I didn't catch your name, sir. My cause. All right, great. Yeah, glad to meet you. Glad to meet Have you. Have fun. I'm Joe. I'm part of the Cap and the Hair. We're going to get this on the uh, on our website and, of course, give you guys access. Tell him something about you. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Tell, Tell him what you do. My name is Gene Wilbarger, and I'm slowly working on building my all-grain system, so I'm just kind of brewing with all the other guys and learning how all their stuff.